guys and welcome back to my channel today I'm showing you how I do my eye makeup like this for when I'm wearing my mask when I go outside I'm actually at the end of the day right now and it stayed looking great all day so if you're interested to see what I use to get my eyes to look like this just keep on watching now everybody knows what's going on in the world and I just wanted to pop on and show you how I do a quick makeup look focusing on my eyes and concealing and I go about my day and it stays on all day. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna go in with that milk cooling water stick that I love so much and I'm gonna put this under my eyes to just keep it from being puffy and keep the puffiness down. I love this thing. I don't get very puffy, but it just feels really cool around the eyes and it's definitely gonna be a summer favorite of mine. So I just kind of press that in. I can't go a day without the milk makeup stick. Now, instead of doing a full face of makeup, I'm actually gonna forgo that because the mask covers up half of my face and I'm gonna stick to my Ginseng SPF 40 moisturizer. Now I've already prepped my skin. I've already hydrated it. This just gives an extra tint that adapts with your skin color. You don't need a lot. I'll say just about that much. And can you see how it has a little bit of a color? If you rub it together, I always rub my moisturizer together. And I'm just gonna throw this on all over, like a moisturizer. Like so. And don't forget your neck, of course. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, I need hydration on my lips, and I'm actually gonna forgo a lipstick or a lip gloss so it doesn't stick to the inside of the mask. And I'm just gonna use the Sephora, it's a watermelon lip balm. There's not gonna be a lot of color on this, but it'll just keep my lips hydrated throughout the day. I'm gonna curl my lashes. If I'm looking to the side, I'm looking in the mirror. Now since I am doing eye makeup, I'm going to use my trusty Tarte Shape Tape Eye Primer on my lids to help keep everything in place. It's very hot in Massachusetts right now, but the oiliness in my skin has gone down, so I'm going to forego setting it for today and we'll see how it lasts. Like so. Now, Obviously, I need to do something with these brows. And if you've seen my video about me, my first video on my channel, then you already know this is quite simple. I've been growing up my eyebrows and I like the shape I have. This just enhances it. I need a little more on the tip. And I am going to use the Anastasia, I think it's the brow gel, it's the brow gel, and I'm just going to use this on the front of my brows. Just to keep the hairs in place. I'm going to go in with eyeshadow now. And I am going to do my trusty conspiracy palette. And I think for today, I'm definitely going to be using my pills. That shade I always have to use. But let's have a little fun. I'm going to do Diet Cola. And Sleep Paralysis.
this is the shade Sleep Paralysis. going in with my pills and I'm just going to blend it above and under the brows. And see where it's blending right above it so there's no lines. Now I need some eyeliner. I'm going in with my cool pencil, like so, and I'm gonna do tight lining. I'm just doing the top for today. Now, I like to do my mascara first before I put on my eyeliner. I don't know why. It's just a habit that I've picked up. I just feel like it makes it easier to like give me guidelines on where I want my eyeliner to go. Now, you'll notice I, by accident, got that right there. But I picked it up. When you get mascara above your eyes, just work fast and clean it up right away and it won't leave any smudges. I'm gonna go back in with a second coat since this is a stronger eye look than I normally do. So now I'm going in with the Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty Life Liner and I'm gonna use just the liquid liner. And I'm going to do a short wing for today. Once again, if I'm looking to the side, it's because I'm looking in the mirror. So my secret to my wing is to bring it out as far as I want to go at an angle and then bring it in and connect it. See? It makes it so much easier because when you take it in and you bring it down and then you just follow through with making it covered. And then I just like to look back and make sure I'm happy with how the wings look on both sides, that they're even. Yep. Now it's time for concealing under the eyes. I'm gonna go in with my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Concealer. I just use a dab of it. Because remember, we're just doing our eye area. I'm gonna take that much. I'm going to use my ring finger and just slightly blend it in. Had some on my middle finger, so I just used up what was on there. And 
I am going to set under the eyes with the Laura Mercier powder. I have a mini size with its little sponge. I'm just going to press it. Now, since we're not doing the full face, since half of it's covered, I'm just gonna use the same powder, and I haven't tried it for this yet. I'm gonna use it to set in my T-zone, at least just in my forehead, and see how that keeps my skin throughout the day, because I do get oily in the summertime, and that's where the shine shows first, is through here. And then I'm just gonna, I think I am gonna actually throw a touch of lip gloss on, just one that's not sticky. I'm gonna do just a little of this Lancome one, and it is called Sparkling Fuchsia, just to brighten it up, because I think it would go good with this eye makeup. So now I'm done. I just need to put my mask on and I am ready to go out and enjoy my day. Be sure to like and subscribe and thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed everything and I will see you in my next video. Bye.